Hi, Steve Finn here, and I've got a, a tip for you today when it comes to growing your franchise or license brand, and it's around investors. So we've always known, I guess, over the years that you know we kind of didn't really want investors, did we? You know, we wanted people who were just going to be owner operators. They were the best people. They put their money down. They were there every day, making sure it was delivered, and that and that's fine. The challenge is, is that nowadays there's less and less owner operators, and there's actually more and more people who are willing to invest. So look, I think um, what the way to do this is what you want to do is to be able to then develop your model. If you want to grow, if you want to grow, you have to be able to have part of your model that is open to investors. So there's a few different ways to be able to do it. Um, you, certainly if you do this and you've got a solution for investors, you'll, you'll grow a lot more. You'll have a lot more um, distribution through your franchising and lot or licensing model. But the way to do it is, I suppose, to there's a couple of things to keep in mind. So with an investor, um, you've, you've got to make it clear exactly what they are getting and what they're not getting. You don't want, it to, want them to put their money in and then them, and them think, oh yeah, well, I'll just hire someone to run that and it'll be all okay. Because that's not necessarily the case. In a certain model, you know, they might need to also have somebody where they, they invest 90% of the money themselves and someone else who might invest 10%. But that 10% might be a young person, um, you know, who's just starting out, and they put in it, that 10% is everything they've got, but they are the person who runs it every day. So you might have a model that sort of matches like that. Um, you might have something where you pair, they might know that person, you might have something where you pair people up possibly, they will introduce them, they can pair themselves up. Um, you, or you might also have a, a model where it's a hybrid model where the investor puts their money in and you have your own management structure that then manages and runs the operations of your own outlets yourself, yourself, but then they might pay for part of the setup and then you share the profits 50-50, for example. So there's a few different ways to do it, but I think to be able to grow and to be able to then have as much market share and get out there as much as you can, you need to be able to have something that is an investor um, solution around that and a really good one that you can promote and target investors and say, this is what, our, this is what we offer, this is the way it's done, and, um, and you'll find that I think it, it'll be quite successful. There's a bit of structure you've got to set up for it, but it gives you another string to your bow rather than just the only the owner-operator model. So that's something to consider.